Okay, ready to get PowerPointing? Yeah! Okay, so that's probably not a real word, but it still sounds good. PowerPointing? It's not doing anything for you? All right, let's start PowerPoint so you can follow along while we work. When you start PowerPoint, a blank slide like this displays. PowerPoint is basically the high-tech, computerized version of those old slideshow presentations. So the individual screens that make up your presentation are fittingly referred to as slides. You can either start from a blank presentation, or you can use the design and template databases provided by PowerPoint to give you a customized look without a lot of work. For now, we will just use this blank default presentation. Before we jump into the details, though, let's take a little tour around the screen to make sure you know where things are. If you are familiar with other MS Office products or products like them, you won't have any trouble at all. Across the top, you have your basic control menus like File, Edit, and Insert. One of the PowerPoint specific menus is Slideshow, and this we will cover later. Of course, there are several toolbars that can be displayed. You will find these in the View menus under Toolbars. You're probably going to be using a few of these, like the Standard, Formatting, Drawing, Outlining, and Task Pane toolbars. If you were following along, you may want to turn these on now. That's Standard, Formatting, Task Pane, outlining, and drawing. You'll know they're active if there is a check mark next to them in the menu. In addition to the toolbars, in the bottom left, under the Slides or Outline panel, you should see the Views option. This allows you to change the view of the center panel from the normal slide view to other helpful views that can give you a graphical look at all of your slides to help you organize them. The Outline and Slide panel on the left side of the screen shows you a condensed view of your presentation, either visually by clicking on the Slide tab up here or in text format in the Outline view. This view also allows you to quickly create an outline for a presentation. And last but not least, on the right is the Task pane. This displays different options depending on context or on selections that you make within the task pane. OK, now that you know your way around the screen a little better, let's jump into using PowerPoint. Here we are with our first slide. It's the title slide. As you can see, it allows you to enter the presentation and perhaps a subtitle. By clicking on the placeholder for title, you can enter the title of your presentation and maybe your name in the subtitle. Don't worry, if you don't enter any information, it won't show up when you view or print it later. There, we have our first slide. Adding another slide is easy. You can click on the New Slide button here, or you can select Insert, New Slide. Click on the New Slide button in the upper right. We are just using the basic and default title and text template for our second slide. You can enter your title and then text. To enter text, move the cursor over Click to Add Title and click. Same thing again for the text selection. Let's try a different type of slide. We'll add it to our presentation by choosing New Slide again from the top toolbar. This time, let's choose a different format for our slide. First, 
we will click New Slide. Then to change the slide layout, we select Format, Slide Layout. A new panel will appear on the right that allows you to select different standard combinations of slide elements. You may want an image with some text beside it, or two columns of text, or a chart with some text. There are many choices, and if you don't find what you need there, you can always make custom slides. We will select a slide layout with text on the left and content on the right. You'll notice there is a simple instruction on this placeholder. Click icon to add content. Above it, you'll notice there is a box with six icons in it. You can add different types of tables, charts, media, and pictures by clicking the appropriate icon. Let's place a picture. Click the picture icon here. Now, just browse to find your picture, and PowerPoint will add it to the slide. Bingo! Already, we've created a short presentation with a few slides and a few different types of content. Time to save the project. Go to the File menu and choose Save. Name your presentation. After you finish typing in a name for your presentation, you will want to decide how the presentation should be saved. Clicking this drop-down menu here can give you lots of different choices for what format your presentation will be saved as. You can save it as a standard PowerPoint presentation, as a web page, a template, or as an older version of PowerPoint in case you're sending it to someone who doesn't have the latest version. Closing your presentation is the same as in many other programs. Go to the File menu and select Close. If you haven't saved your most recent changes, the program will give you a chance to save before you close. There you go. Those are the basics of PowerPoint. Once you are comfortable with these, it's time to move on to more features.